M0FXB Hamtech, welcome to my videos on the Mishtastic Off Grid Network System. This is the Liligo T Go Mishtastic T Beam version 1.1. It's got GPS, Wi Fi, Bluetooth, and it comes preloaded with the Mishtastic firmware. Although the loading the firmware is really quick and easy because there is a quick load firmware page that Mishtastic have done for us which looks like this. You literally select your device, select the top firmware I always do, and then flash, it's done. So what I thought I'd do today though, because this has only just arrived, just to show you how easy it is to set this up. Now we're using 868 megahertz, which is selected within the app. As you can see there, you just download Meshtastic app, and it's on iOS and on Android. Plus there is an interface for your PC, via Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and a serial connection. But let's just focus on this. So we've just got it, we've plugged it in, we don't have the battery, but the battery that you need is just a 18650 rechargeable that looks like this. And I bought it with a torch for 15 pound, but you know, they they come for, you can probably buy them individually for about six pound. So when we're doing these gadgets, we've always got some HF or some ham radio in the background, or even CB sometimes. So we've connected it up, I'll just show you around the device. You've got your SMA antenna there, that's your 868 megahertz. You've got your screen there with all the information that's coming through, turning it over. Now, I don't know this, but I think that's the GPS module on top, but it's going straight to the antenna. So there is a connector here and another connector here. The one does go here to the I think it's GPS and that could be your your normal antenna but I'll have to learn that one actually so but it's interesting and then zooming in here you've got your Liligo 868 your LoRa board I would say that's your little radio transmitter and on the right here that's called the Neo 6M so you probably understand what's on this board more than I do just check it out, your battery compartment there. Nice and straightforward, looks really great and you can buy cases for these. So let's see if we can communicate with it using our app. We're gonna do lots more kinds of tests on this, but the first thing we'll do is we swipe down and we'll hold down Bluetooth and we'll, we'll go pair new device. This one I know is the F6CO because it's written on the screen and it's the only one I haven't used yet. So I'm just gonna tap that and we get the message straight away on screen. And remember, I haven't changed anything. I've plugged my USB cable in, actually it's micro USB, and turned it on. So it came preloaded for two, I'm sure there's newer firmware for this, but I just thought, let's just do it out the box. So we'll just get that code in for, if you're curious about what this phone is, it's a Unihertz Atom. It's actually an Android phone, a VHF, sorry, a UHF radio and a DMR radio without internet, a proper radio plus a normal phone. So it's quite good. So oh no, I was a bit too slow there. We timed out, so let's do it again. It's Tashtik. It does give you a different number each time. You, I think you can change that in settings, but anyway, six, eight, six, uh, eight, two, four. And then let's tick the thing, click okay. And hopefully, once it pairs, we can tell it that we're on 868 megahertz. So it is trying. I think it is. Mm, other devices connected. Let's just see. What we do now is go back to the app, the Mustastic one. And if it is connected, see the, the cloud here? Yeah, that cloud will say connected. And I don't think we are connected yet. So we'll just do it again. Okay, we swapped phones, then it, it connected, not sure why, but anyway. So now we select our region. So you've got a drop down here where it says region. And we select EU868, and that's because, and it reboots, look, and that's because that's where we are. So let that reboot. Now we're not gonna get much inside this shack. Let's go to messages. So it's all, it, it, like by default, it connects us to the long fast channel. So the channels are where you can, you know, talk to people. 
So we're on this one here, I believe. Let's just send a high. Maybe not. We could be on. Oh, two seconds ago. Well, we have received a signal, look, from Meshtastic AA AC. That could be one of my devices. Let me grab one of my devices. Which is this one here. Look, actually, no, that message did go through, look, because it came through there as high. So if I just see if I can show you that. Put this way, you can actually see it. So look, the main thing is that we're up and running straight away. So I'm just going to... I'm going to hold everything by hand at the moment because Steven Spielberg also does it like this. So let's just do another one so we know. So we're going to go ham tech this time. H A M T E C H. Send. And I'm going to quickly hold this up. And there, look how quick it was. But they are next to each other. Ham tech. So let's just try and send one the other way. Um, So I've got a better idea. We've got my power bank here. Okay, we're going to run it with the power bank for now. We're going to go upstairs and see if we get any messages from my window. But we, we got a message three minutes ago from me. Now let's go and have a look. So we're up here by the window. Just looking out. We're, you know, we're a bit high. We're not probably about, I don't know, 10 metres from ground level. It might say on here. And we're hoping to get some signals. There's one that's come through just called Western Supermare. Then you've got the Scout Hut. I know that's in Bleeden Hill because I, I know the guy that's got that unit. We're just powering with a normal power bank and then we've got my, my phone here monitoring what comes in. So let's go here. No, wrong one. So we've got the Forest SPA DGE, there's location data there. So this is this is what you do, you get out, get out and about. There's another one come in there, DRI. You can configure different settings inside. Let's just see if my GPS is turned on. Go to three dots, radio. Then we'll go to position and then it goes into that mode like GPS mode disabled. I'm going to put enabled and then when you click send it reboots and it adds those new settings. Let's go back and then you've got the user which it says that's you can change the name but that's me. T-Beam I can turn on licensed amateur as well. I'm sure that's to prevent you sending in encrypted messages. Device. Power, network. Just have a look. You can, you know, we can enable the Wi-Fi and then communicate via Wi-Fi. We don't have to use Bluetooth. And also serial. And look at this, straight out of the box, you know, we've not even upgraded the firmware, which we will. It says my frequency there as well. My region, my modem preset. And it says a use modem preset. Bluetooth connection, random pin. Go back to the unit. 50 seconds ago, and there's the DR and the Western Superman, there's the Scout Hut. Let's try and message the Scout Hut. Right, see if they can uh, get me. It's not actually flashing, but the camera's doing that. So we're gonna poke it out and send a message. Scout Hut, we're gonna tap it. See if we can reply to them. There you are. Hi, Scout Hut from M0FXB. So it's a shame about the flashing, but we have got something back from the Scout Hut at the moment. And then we've got these buttons here at the bottom. One's labelled power, one's labelled reset. 
and that'll be when we put that in the case that's where our buttons will be we'll soon have the battery as well as we scroll through by pressing the middle button we can see messages received no GPS lock it says British Router 2 Western Supermail 1 Forest again DR1 we press the power one to see what it does, see if it powers off. Not really, and this one here, the reset button here, not much happening there. But the main thing is, oh it did, it rebooted. Get out and about and have some fun. Nice little OLED screen, looks like a standard one, doesn't it? Laura module. Thanks for watching my YouTube channel. Bye for now, 7-3.